what uh what's going on guys in uh, this video i want to uh maybe not so much make a guide or build guide kind of thing it's just more of a uh look into my uh my necro and where i'm at so far so uh i'm currently farming in l3 so paragon 96 so i've gotten pretty far um here's my stats uh strength zero intelligence 492 4 to 2 355 Atelier 672 low power 454 but more so more important people want to know combat rating there's that there armor everything you need to see you can just see right here i'll have you look there even all this stuff i don't think my numbers are the greatest but seem to be able to kill where i'm at so uh that's pretty good so the uh, move sets that i use are a bit different from most people i use these things uh, here this is the command skeletons i really like the command skeletons just prefer the uh the ai kind i guess is the best way to say it they just uh they kind of will follow but they won't group in front of me like see how they kind of surround me so if I get attacked from either side, there's always something. They don't come right at me. And if I have my golem uh, out, he usually stands kind of in the front. So no matter what side I get attacked from, they'll usually get one of my guys and they don't get attacked right away. Plus I am safe for safety. I use this. I have a gem uh, bottle of hope that I'll make it uh, actually increase their speed. Anyways, but uh, I also use the, the command golem. And I have the uh, equipment to make them uh, into this fire guy. Um, I use the corpse explosion. Uh, again, I use it with my shoulders. I'll go through that later on. It's really, uh, really uh, neat. And then I use the bone armor. That's the basic, basic skills I use. So just to see what they do, we have a quick look there. But uh, they all kind of coincide with the uh, legendary gear I use, which I will. Uh, so I'll just go over now. There's a corpse explosion, and then here is the bone armor. Okay, and then uh, yeah, we'll go through this. So I use the uh, this guy for the uh, command uh, golem duration, uh, increased by thirty percent. And I guess it's gonna be hard to see here, but. We'll actually cast them and I guess we'd have to wait. I don't want to make you guys sit and wait, but it'll actually uh, coincides with my shield and actually will die. You know, split into two. And then I'll actually have a golem up consistently. I'll have two little ones for like four seconds and I can cast them again. So hopefully maybe he'll die here. Let me give it a second. Or just wait just so I can kind of show you what it looks like, but... It's not, uh, so now I have two little guys. And the uh, cooldown's almost up, so there we go. I actually have three golems, because it overlaps. So I constantly have a golem up, so I really like uh, that. Because these guys do quite a bit of damage. So, going back in, we did this. Right, yeah. Let's just make some last longer. That makes them split into two. Okay, this, uh armor I use oh yes this makes uh this is the one that gives the uh the bone armor to all my guys makes them immune here to make this all prevent damage to split in single hits this is actually pretty cool I like this one quite a bit um then I also use this this is for my corpse explosion I really like this um this makes the uh, corpses uh, actually get up and they'll walk towards an enemy and then, we, then they'll blow up. It looks like uh, looks like spiders or something. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, the reason why I like that so much is because uh, corpse explosion is pretty good by itself, but the fact that it um, will get up and actually go at the enemy makes it hit more consistently. So it actually does more damage. So it actually works out pretty good for me. Okay, and then we use. The bone armor duration yet yeah, so this just makes the the armor um last longer which will give them also the speed longer i believe too with the bottled hope but i'm not sure if it actually makes it longer but well i guess the shield's up longer so 
Anyways, I'm not sure about that, but I use this for the golem. This makes him like the fiery one and bring damage, all his fun stuff. He's just really, really good with this. Okay, um, the set I use, um, actually I shouldn't even show my boots. My boots are really bad. I just have it for the set. I need to actually farm better ones here. But the uh, shepherd's here for the summons. This is pretty crazy. Uh, does more uh, damage and criticals, so I usually stick with that. I actually have boots that'll give me way more combat rating, but I use this for the set because I have four, four piece there, and then I just have like not the greatest rings, but of that. Um, after that, uh, gems are pretty are pretty rough. We have uh, everlasting torment, uh, ranked five, one star. I spent a lot on this thing, like to to get this uh, to ranked up to two. But the two stars, I don't know if they're really worth it. But uh, this is pretty good. Um, I don't want to go through what they all do. You probably know or or whatever you can read right there. Uh, this uh, I use my primary attack a lot on uh, on bosses, so I use this one. It's a one star as well. So like it, it's a one star, two star, one star, or one star. I've got them all to like rank five ish, but it's I don't have a lot of gems. I've only spent not very much. I'm more closer to free to play than I am to a whale. I think I've spent sixty, almost seventy dollars in total with my beta credits. But anyways, moving on. Uh, we have here. This is one star. This is for the. Speed, okay, I went through that already. We have here, this is for the summons. Two star again, so... All my all my gems are one and two stars. And then last I have... Evolved Hope. This is the one I was talking about to increase the... Uh, if you give uh, something a buff, it'll increase the movement speed by 8%. So that's... That's actually really good with the summons and the shield, so... That ends up giving me... This is my... Total res, so I don't know how. Or would be easier to see the gems in here. I haven't really done very much with gems. I don't want to go into it too much. I don't want to end up spending money, so I'll just take what I get and we'll deal with it from there. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to get this out there because someone had asked me about my combat rating and damage and whatever. So there's all my all my numbers. I honestly don't think they're the greatest. But like I said. It's just this and this, you know, that's pretty, pretty bad. I just use what I got. And like I said, Paragon 96 and I'm farming in uh, Hell 3. So, I mean, I guess uh, that's all you need. All right. Well, uh, it's going to wrap it up for this one. So let me know what you think in the comments. Probably have some advice for me of what to do better. I'm sure somebody will. So go ahead and leave in the comments. Uh, maybe, maybe like the video, uh, subscribe for uh, more content, and uh, yeah, have a, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.